What's going on guys? This is Vanalik Puma, back with another Borderlands video for you guys, and today I figured I'd do a quick video and talk a little bit about the recently discovered rainbow rarity that's present in Borderlands 2's game files. As I'm sure many of you know, Borderlands 2 on PC and the Handsome Collection on consoles were recently updated with 4K Ultra HD texture packs that greatly improved many of the game's environmental textures. However, it also appears this update contained some additional code that added a brand new rarity to Borderlands 2, which has become known as the Rainbow Rarity. In this video, I'll talk about what we know about the rarity itself, speculate and theorize what it may actually be used for, as well as how to get it currently before Gearbox introduces anything official. So I guess without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into it. So, for the sake of clarification, what you're seeing here is a PC mod that adopts the Rainbow Rarity, and if you're familiar with the Reborn mod for Borderlands 2, BLCMM, which is the mod manager, or you're just familiar with hex editing your executable to enable mods for Borderlands 2, then the weapon that you're seeing here should look pretty familiar in that it is the Chroma from the Reborn mod. The Weapon Mods creator, Aaron Quadruple Zero, released an update for his Chrome SMG mod that adds the Rainbow Rarity to it, and I'll include a link to this mod in the video's description if you're interested. Just be sure to make sure that you have BLCMM so you can tick the Rainbow Rarity box that's in the text file. Now, this is of course really the main method that I would recommend to get this thing now, but to reassure you that this is in fact a real thing that it was added by Gearbox to the game, you can type a command in the console that is object dump gd underscore globals dot general dot globals, and you'll get a huge readout of stuff. And if you scroll high enough in the text, you'll notice that there is a section dedicated to rarities and entry 17 is designated as rainbow, hence the name rainbow rarity. There are a couple of things we can talk about concerning rainbow. Starting off with its visual appearance, you can see that the item card, both when appearing in your inventory, inspected, and I guess also when dropped on the ground, it has this really cool pulsating rainbow effect. However, you may be interested to know that this particular effect isn't shared by the rarity beam that's displayed upon dropping these items to the ground. At first glance, this rarity beam actually looks somewhat similar to the rarity beam that money has, but upon closer inspection and when a rainbow rarity item is dropped next to some money, you'll notice that there is a subtle difference between the two. Interestingly, this property also appears to extend to the color of the manufacturer logo upon swapping to a weapon that has the rainbow rarity, and this is a noticeably different color than the yellow limescent color rarity that money has. On top of the appearance of this rarity, we can also learn a bit more about this rarity according to the entry on it we found with the in-game console. Rainbow appears to rank above every other rarity in the game, including some of the non-legit weapon rarities that are usually obtained through modding weapon parts together in the Gibbed save editor. After all, if you look above Rainbow Rarity, you can see that Seraph is ranked at 13, Perlescent is presumably at rank 12, though it's not referred to as such, and many of the traditional rarities like Legendary, E-Tech, and Purple are ranked at 5 and 7, as there are actually two Legendary tiers, while 6 and 4 are E-Tech and Purple rarity respectively. While I suppose what I'm showing here is a mod, it is worth noting that the Rainbow Chroma is ranking above every other weapon in my inventory, which again, further points to the idea that this rarity is above all of the others that are currently in the game. You also notice in the code that it has an interesting designation, which reads, drop lifespan type equals forever. Interestingly, certain rarity types have a certain shelf life in game, where if you wait long enough or exit an area, the items will eventually disappear. Given that Rainbow Rarity is set for Live Forever, it's likely that it should continue to indefinitely exist so long as you don't save and quit your game. Pretty much every other rarity above blue also does this, which means that whatever rainbow ends up being used for means that it should be at least somewhat valuable, and it's probably going to be an item that is droppable since it has an infinite drop lifespan. 
This is, of course, in contrast to a few other things like money, ammo, and white rarity weapons, which will despawn after you leave and then re-enter a given area. With all of this in mind, there are a few things I think we can definitely say about Rainbow Rarity and its eventual use in game. First, it's safe to say that Rainbow Rarity will be used as some droppable or maybe even farmable object in game given its permanence or infinite lifespan when dropped. Second, whatever Rainbow Rarity is used for will also be valuable since Rainbow is currently the highest tier rarity in Borderlands 2 as of the 4K Ultra HD update. And finally, whatever item it applies to or is used for will likely be very distinct from other in-game items given the unique rarity beam and the obvious rainbow type aesthetic on the item cards. However now, I'd like to talk and speculate about what rainbow rarity will actually end up being used for once it appears in an official capacity. As I suspect many others have guessed at this point, I think Rainbow Rarity will primarily be featured as a part of the new Vault Insiders program that Gearbox is using to help promote Borderlands 3. After all, and according to the Vault Insider program website, you can receive points for doing various activities and from there, you can redeem these points for in-game rewards with some of these rewards being quote, gold keys, wallpapers, and more in-game and out-of-game rewards. There's also another line that's lower on the page that literally says, quote, Join the Vault Insider program and unlock loot for existing Borderlands games as well as the upcoming Borderlands 3. So, if you ask me, this basically confirms that you will be getting special loot for Borderlands 2 and maybe Borderlands 1 Remastered for being a part of this program. As this pertains to the Rainbow Rarity, it seems like we'll be able to get items that possess this rarity. It's hard to say what those items might be, but I've got a few guesses. Given how Borderlands 1 Remastered has added 6 new legendaries to the game, it's possible that Gearbox intends to add some more new gear to Borderlands 2 as well, and that could be in the form of new Rainbow Rudy gear. As you've seen from some of the gameplay I've been showcasing in the video, it's definitely possible for this rarity to be applied to weapons, and in fact, it makes a lot of sense for this to occur due to how Rainbow Rarity itself seems to trump every other rarity and display much higher in your inventory. This would be perfect for pretty much any inventory item, as the higher rarity tier, in addition to the pulsating rainbow effect, will definitely make these items very noticeable. At the same time, I have to wonder if Gearbox would really add new additional weapons and gear to Borderlands 2 at this point. The main reason we got new legendaries for the Borderlands 1 remaster was because that was to promote what was essentially a brand new version of Borderlands 1. Given that the Ultra HD update that adds Rainbow Rarity is essentially just an update for the base version of Borderlands 2, my thinking is Gearbox probably didn't spend a considerable amount of time designing new gear. Also, and in the case of the new legendaries for the Borderlands 1 Remastered, many of them possess fixed parts and don't really feature any flashy projectile patterns or effects. So, assuming we do get new Rainbow Rarity gear for Borderlands 2, I'd say that whatever weapons that are added would be similar in quality to what we got in the Borderlands 1 Remaster, and not feature anything flashy or that's super innovative, as a lot of that stuff will be reserved for Borderlands 3. So my thinking is, is that this rarity probably won't be used for new weapons or gear, but who knows, I've been wrong before. Now, while I don't think Rainbow Rarity will be for new weapons, I do think there is a high possibility that it could be a new kind of inventory consumable. So in that sense, it could function more like a header skin and could be consumed by the player once while also temporarily taking up one slot in the player's inventory. In fact, Rainbow Rarity could be reserved exclusively for some new but yet to be released heads and skins, and we've definitely seen Gearbox do things like this before to promote other games. For example, the pre-sequel was promoted with the release of heads and skins for Borderlands 2, and Gearbox designed a number of exclusive heads for Borderlands 2 to commemorate the release of Telltale Games' Poker Night 2. It seems like Gearbox could easily do something similar by designing Borderlands 3 themed heads and skins for Borderlands 2, and Rainbow Rarity could be used to distinguish them from other Borderlands 2 items. Alternatively, and instead of heads and skins, Rainbow Rarity could be used as an inventory consumable that could apply some kind of passive stat boost. 
If you've played the pre-sequel, then you'll know that you could spend Moonstones in Moxie's bar to acquire special Moxtail drinks, which provided passive stat boosts that improved your gun damage or added health or ammo regen. While I'll admit getting new heads and skins is probably more likely than this, if Rainbow Rarity is meant to be used as a gameplay-altering item, then this is what I think it would be used for. Then again, the Vault Insider program entry specifically mentions loot, and inventory consumables sort of do fit that category when it comes to heads and skins, and sort of don't fit that category when it comes to passive consumable power-ups. So again, we'll see, but I do think there is a possibility that this rarity could be used for new heads and skins. Another possibility is that Rainbow Rarity is intended for use as some type of new currency that's similar to Iridium, Torque Tokens, or Seraph Crystals. Granted, if it's like Iridium, you wouldn't be able to put it in your inventory and observe the rainbow effect, but it is worth noting that you could still observe the unique Rarity Beam and item card before the item in question is actually picked up. In fact, we may have a situation where Gearbox has recolored and retextured Iridium or Seraph Crystal bars to match the new Rainbow Rarities beam color, and upon inspection of the item card, you'll get that cool rainbow effect. As for what this currency would be used for though, the sky's the limit. On the one hand, maybe it's like Iridium and you can use it to obtain more ammo slash backpackers to use for your character, or maybe Rainbow Rarity could function like Seraph Rarity does with Seraph Crystals, where the player can spend the new Rainbow Currency on new Rainbow Rarity items at a special vendor. Either way, I think you could definitely see Rainbow Rarity being used as a currency, so that's another possibility. At the end of the day though, we do have a pretty good idea that Rainbow Rarity will be significant in some way. After all, it's got a distinct appearance for its item card, it has a unique Rarity Beam, and much like blue, purple, and legendary items, it's got the same permanence that these items do, and that it won't disappear after entering and exiting an area a few times. After that though, it's really hard to say just what Rainbow Rarity will be used for, as it could be an actual new weapon rarity, or it could be the rarity for a new type of currency. Or maybe even it's a combination of the two. My thinking is, is that we're probably going to end up knowing the truth here fairly soon, as Borderlands 2 is probably going to have at least one more patch to iron out some of the kinks that were introduced with the release of the 4K Ultra HD Texture Pack. There's also going to be the upcoming update for Borderlands 2 VR that adds all of the DLC, which could release alongside a new patch for regular Borderlands 2 and a potential PC version of Borderlands 2 VR. So even though Borderlands 3 is on the horizon and set to come out in like six months, I think we'll get one last patch or update for Borderlands 2 that lets us know more about Rainbow Rarity. Otherwise guys, I think that's going to wrap up this video. If you liked this video, definitely be sure to smash like, click the bell so you can be notified when I upload more videos, and as always, and again, thank you all so much for supporting this channel. Take care, and I'll see you all in the next one.